how many of you know how to take photograph? How many of you think that you can take a very nice photograph? Okay, okay good. Um, how many of you think that you can close your eyes without seeing anything, but at the same time can take a very nice photograph? Thank you. The reason why I ask this question is because I'm going to share with you my own experience that teaching a group of visually impaired per people photography. Okay, this is Uncle William, one of my students. Um, I got this call from a center called Dialogue in the Dark last year around May. So they called me and said, Bob, can I invite you to come to the school and then teach, my uh, teach my tour guides photography? I was like, tour guides, Dialogue in the Dark. Uh, they can't see, right? Yeah, they can't see. So I hesitated. I said, I'm going to teach them if they can't see. So I said, I, I, I'll, I'll be coming down to meet them. So I went down and I met um, Uncle William. We sat down and said, Uncle, are you sure you want to learn photography? And his answer is, yes. If I, if I, if I can take a photograph and then hang the, the photograph on the wall, if I can do an exhibition, I'll feel very proud of myself. That's his answer. I, I went off and then I called, I met another friend who organized another group, which I also participated in that. It's called the Photo Voice. We teach a group of students, uh, a, a group of autistic students, um, photography. So I asked organizer, so Yap Heng, I said, oh, Are you sure? What, what should I do? He said, Bob, we are not here to teach them, make them become a professional photographer, but we are here to introduce them to new tools, give them a chance to communicate through different things. It, it's, a, it's, it's actually a form of art therapy. And then this word, art therapy, struck me. Art therapy. Yeah, it's art therapy. So I can use the same things and this with Uncle William and, and, other, and no other tour guides. So I called the center, say, okay, I will take up this challenge and then I will come down and then we will see how to teach them photography. So I borrowed a few sets of camera from Canon. I tried to figure out how I'm going to use this camera to teach them. And then Canon is very good at giving me a very nice compact camera which have a lot of functions, which I don't, actually I don't need that. I just need an auto mode. So I have this, I said, oh, I'm, go I'm going to figure out how to use these things. I I'm going to just teach them to use the auto functions, but there are so many functions. So I blindfold myself, I close my eyes and try to, try, try to feel the dials, and then I turn the dials clockwise until the last one is quite smooth. The first one, M, T, V, A, V, P, and then the fifth stop is auto. So I teach the student, use this method, dial the things until the last one, until the... Until the Fifth stop, then that's the auto, use this. So that from that, they move on, the first class. That's a five-week course anyway. So in the first class, Uncle William took the camera and then she took this picture say, Bob, I'm going to show you these pictures. This is a picture that uh, is, to me is very important. I said, that's a first class. Okay, I say, it's just a dustbin, Uncle William. He said, no, this dustbin, you know, every time when I took a bus from my house to this center, I come down from the bus and then I... I will walk with my white cane and then once I touch this dustbin, I'll know that I need to turn left. But this one day, the cleaner moved the dustbin away. <laughs> and, and then he fell down. So he said, I'm going to use this photograph to show to the cleaner or to the, to the center to tell them, don't move this dustbin away anymore, please. So to me, I was like, thank you, Uncle William, thank you. It, 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 because of this, I feel that the... The, there's, a reason, there's a reason for me to come here to teach you photography. I'm not here to teach you how to take nice photographs. That's not important. How to take a nice, aesthetic, aesthetic nice pictures is not important. But because of this dustbin, he tell me that it's, it's worth something for me to come down to, to the school to teach them. So another student, um, Eileen. Eileen is born blind. So he never, she never used a camera before. So the first picture that she took, there's a, there's a fingers in front of the lens. The second one, there's a fingers. The third one is the fingers. <laughs> So I thought, Elaine, there's the fingers in front. They said, oh, okay. So I, uh, the first class, we teach them how to hold the camera, how to hold the things, how to, to snap the things. That was, that's the first class. So I, tell, I, I talked to them, say, we only have five weeks, so shall we do something? Each of us, each of you, come out with topics. Instead of take nice pictures, but come out with topics that you want to do five weeks. So Elaine said, I'm going to, I'm going to do a set, a set of pictures that um, to share with people that my daily life. Okay. 
So she said, I'm going to take the books that I read, the watch that I use. There are two types of watch. Some is you press the button and dun, dun, now it's 4.30. Okay? The other type is you open the glass panel and then you touch, which is this one. This is the one that she used. So she said, wow, this is very interesting. It's new to me. Take a pictures. So she took a pictures. So she said, I got this book, quite big, about A2 size. So she took a pictures. I said, you don't use the, the, the zoom in function because you can't see. If you want to do a macro, just move your camera close. If you want to do a wide angle, just move your camera out. So she see, she did. And I asked her, what, so what is this book about? Oh, it's my Bible. It's about A2 size. So this is the huge Bible. So I say, so this is the full Bible? I said, no, 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 this is one volume. So <laughs> they said, show me the whole things. So come, come, follow me to the room. She opened the cupboard and then, this is the pictures. I said, took a pictures of this. So she hold the camera and took a pictures. This is the whole volume of the, of the Bibles. So that's very interesting. Jason and other students, he said he wanted to take a, a group of pictures. He wanted to take pictures at the Singapore River Cruise, where he met his girlfriends. And I said, yeah, why not? So I arranged, we arranged and we went down. And then on the cruise, he said, we are not under the bridge. I said, how you know? The sound of the engine changed. I said, snap. So he took a pictures. My line is on my right because of the water, the sound of the water. So he took a pictures. And then there's a boat pass, passing by us because of the sound. So I said, he took a pictures. The next one, Uncle William. I said, my favorite students. Um, he said, I'm going to show, I'm going to record uh, my journey from my house to, to, the, to the center. So everything to me is very important, just like the dustbin, right? You remember? <laughs> so he said, you know, the pavement, the, 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 the tactiles, the curb, the manhole, or the texture, everything changed, telling me where am I? But to, to us, it's like, Uncle William, that's just a curb. No, this, this is guiding me when I come out came out from the bus, I will just feel the things and then I will just hold, I know the where am I going. So everything is important to him, but to us it's like, so we're taking things for granted. So he's showing me that all, all, the, all the small little little things. So you just take a picture, do a series of this. And this is his favorite pictures. He said, Bob, I love this picture a lot. He, he can't see anyway. So he asked someone to describe the pictures. He said, when I, when I was in front of this place and when I took the pictures, I asked the guy beside me, say, uh, is my shadow, is my own shadow inside these pictures? He said, yes. Then he said, Bob, you know why I love these pictures? Because you, can you see me holding the camera? Because I want to make sure that people know that I'm the one who took these pictures. <laughs> because I have my own camera, my shadow, my stick, and then the small little, little dot on the floor is not the anti-sleep functions. It's, it's an indicator for the visual impaired people to tell them that I'm now in front of the, the traffic light. Yeah, it's not anti-sleep, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, 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 you see, you see? So, I, I, I like these pictures too. So, I make it to a poster. And remember that Uncle William told me that he want, he, if he can have an exhibition, it would be good. So, I arranged a small exhibitions at one of the cafe at a Chinatown. So, we did a, a, a small um, exhibitions at the same time. We did a sharing. And then, I mean, in the sharing, I said, you no. Know, at, at the end of this five-week course, I, I told them, we sit down and I say, thank you, thank you for inviting me to come to this place too. You know, I, I'm not sure how, how much you learned from me these five weeks, how much you can get back from me or how much you learned from me. But I'm sure I learned a lot from you. At least I know what is all these things about. I know that I don't, we shouldn't take things for granted. Yeah, I, 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 when in the River Cruise, I didn't really use my ear to see things. Okay? And I, I learned a lot of things. And I'm sure that the audience, when, we sh when I show these pictures to the audience, they can learn too, right? And there are, I mean, Uncle William said thanks to me. He said, he, he's not born blind, he's, he suffered from the gla glaucoma. So he said, I, I feel very proud of myself, and I promised him I did the exhibitions. To end my, this talk, I got two things to share with you from all my own experience. First, do not underestimate your own ability to learn new things. Right? I mean, visually impaired, but they hold the camera. You know how, you know how much courage to, for you to hold the camera up to take the things, and then even though you can't see, people laugh at you, say, oh, you're taking a picture, you can't see me. Huh? They try. In fact, now Uncle William helped a lot of people take good photos. <laughs> how? People in the centre say hi. People in the centre say hi. Okay, this is centre. People at the left say hi. Oh, you're too far, please come closer. Hey, the right. <laughs> Hi, too far, come closer. So, okay, this is that. I will take a pictures. This is a group photo. That's how you do it. 
Do not, do, not under, do not underestimate your own self. Yeah. Thank you. And the second point is, do not underestimate your own skill that will be able to change someone's life. I mean, I'm not talking about changing the whole world, world peace or anything, okay? But I'm just hoping, if it's just one person, fulfill their dreams. That's more than enough. Uncle William, thank you. <laughs>